Welcome to Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Freibold alongside Brooks Vigan and Coach uh, off to a really good start. 2-0 couldn't be better than that so far. But before we, we get into the, the two wins you've got already under your belt, I know the last time we talked in the spring you were, you were ecstatic. You were as happy as, and as calm as I've ever seen about <laughs> spring practice. You just really were at peace and happy with how the team was developing. How that translate once they get back from uh, the summer and got ready for fall? Yeah, no, it's we did. We had a great spring, and uh, that's cre all credit to the girls. And they really they bought in. You know, we used the quote, "drink, drink the Kool Aid," yeah. and they drank the Kool Aid, and uh, they worked hard. Their mentality was fantastic. Their attitude, everything, um, which you know allowed us to have a have a very good spring. Um, you know, then you've got that break, and so you don't know 100 yeah. percent what's going to happen. But you know, we we're all, we brought all the kids back for second term summer school. Um, you know, and they got to spend a lot of time with their strength coach, and the freshmen came in as well, so it gave them time to bond. And I think that was a huge advantage. And uh, I think we've left off, you know, where we finished last spring in regards to our mentality and hard work. So I've been very, very pleased up to this point. A couple of wins for you over the weekend. Let's start off Friday night, southeastern <clears throat> Louisiana, four one win. Yeah, you know, I thought that game we started a little bit slow. Um, obviously, our first. Uh, First home game uh, of the season, um, you know, we're, we're very young, you know, on paper, we're very young, played, I, I think, eight of our, eight of the starters were freshmen and sophomores, so a young squad, um, you know, I think some, some nerves, some jitters, you know, early on, but, uh, and we went down in the game, um, you know, we were down one nothing, but uh, I thought the girls rebounded well and uh, you know once they relaxed uh, you know they, they started well, we started to play our style and uh, you know then I thought we took control of the game and um, you know it was, it was listen it's not easy to win and Southeast Louisiana is a very solid team it was an NCAA tournament last year a veteran squad so it wasn't it wasn't easy but um, you know credit to the kids they found a way to do it. Then Western Kentucky on Sunday he's always got a tough squad it was I, I guess the second half uh, <coughs> a, lot, a little pressure off first half you got a lot of shots weren't able to to get the ball to go into the net, but a couple of goals and you beat Western Kentucky. Yeah, too. yeah, you know, we knew we were going to have our hands full there. They had beaten us last year, and um, again, uh, I think they were starting seven seniors. So when you look at a squad that's beating you, and you're starting, you know, eight freshmen and sophomores, you know, it, 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 there are some concerns because experience is, you know, means a lot. And, um, you know, the kids, uh, um, I thought we I thought we were very good the first half and um, you know created a lot of chances unfortunately weren't able to put any in the back of the net um, and then second half credit to those to them they, they 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 lifted it a notch Western Kentucky did and they you know they put some pressure on us but uh, at the end of the day we were able to score two goals and you know listen I think um, I'll you know me I'll be the first to tell you if we deserve to win or, or don't deserve to win and, and we, we deserve to win two games this weekend and uh, um, you know, throughout this whole process, you know, with preseason, you know, we are continuing to get better. But we've got a lot of work yeah. uh, to do. Uh, it's a long season. And, you know, we, 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 you know, obviously we're, well, we are, we're hoping to get some injured kids back because we're playing, um, you know, we're not playing full strength right now. But we're getting close. We're getting close. And obviously we've got a big weekend this weekend. Got to be happy Val Sanderson gets Offensive Player of the Week in the league. Val was fantastic this weekend. And, um, you know, we've really challenged Val uh, in her senior year. And she is, she's done phenomenal. And, and you know, she, um, you know, she played close to 90 minutes in both games. And um, she just worked. She was a tireless worker. And, you know, things happen when you work hard. And uh, I thought she was big for us. Obviously, she scored three goals. Um, on the weekend, and uh, hopefully, hopefully she gains confidence because we've got all the confidence in the world in her, and she takes that, you know, from week to week. And Val's one of those players that has, has contributed so much over her career. You look at it and you see Val <coughs> Sanderson's name in the box score, and you're like, she's she's still here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. she she's yeah. just been that kind of contributor over her career. Yeah, you know, I mean, we've had to rely on Val in the position that she plays. You know, we, we're, we're funnel balls into her, and um, she's a big part of our offense, and we need. You know, we need her to score goals. We need her, you know, to set up goals. We need her to get in the dangerous positions. And right now, um, she's she's got a great mentality right now, and she's firing on all cylinders. And uh, like I said, um, you know, we just want that to continue. And if so, these the, these awards will come. And you go on the road for the first time this uh, year, this weekend. A couple of regional games, not any big road trip trips, but they are big games. You're going to Old Miss Friday. You'll go over to Little Rock to play UALR on Sunday. Yeah, and again, two two tough matches. Obviously, Old Miss is a rival of ours, and we know we're going to have to be at our best to, to have a chance to win that game. 
Uh, you know, in Ole Miss game, it's usually close no matter who's having what type of season. So, um, you know, they've got a lot of local kids. It'll, it'll be a great game. I, I, I love the Ole Miss game. It's always, um, I know our kids will be up mm -hmm. for it, uh, but it's going to be a true challenge. And then on to, uh, obviously, Sunday, UALR is a team that we haven't played in a while, new, you know, a, new, a fairly new coach and, um, you know, uh, has done a good job in turning that program around. And, you know, again, there's no easy games. There's no easy games on this schedule. It doesn't matter who, who, who we're playing, what conference they're from. This schedule is a tough schedule. And, uh, um, you know, any team, you know, can beat you if you're not, if you're not focused and you don't play well. All right, Coach, sounds good. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks. Hey, Coach Brooks Bonigan, I'm Jeff Brightwell for the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.